Good morning, everyone. Happy Wednesday after one of the longest turnarounds last week to a pretty short turnaround this week. I'm pretty I'm pretty cool with it, though. Um, I'll talk about the Giants game one last time since we, I hadn't had a chance to talk about it since, you know, it was, it was Monday night and Tuesday. Um, but um, tomorrow it's all about the Vikings pre-game pre -game video and Thursday night football, which I don't really guess. I think it's the Chargers and the, and the Raiders, so I won't talk about it too much. Um, but like I said during the stream, uh, I was never worried about losing the game until it got to the fourth quarter when it was 23 to 18, just simply because anything can happen in the fourth quarter at that time. I mean, you make one mistake, it could, it could steamroll into a loss. So that's the, really the only reason why I got nervous that entire football game, uh, because for, for the most part, we owned both sides of the football field. Um, why was it so close in the fourth quarter? I don't know. The final score is a little misleading. Uh, they, they, they seriously had a chance, and I really don't know why. Because we did, we, I mean, we held Barkley in check. We made Daniel uh, Jones look like a rookie. You know what I'm saying? Uh, we, pretty, we did pretty much I was I, I had hoped for coming into the game. And I can't put my finger on why it, it, was, it was so close. You know, and I'm not a fan of Shermer. I don't think Shermer's a great coach either. So I, I don't know what, what caused that. But look. Don't get it messed up. <laughs> I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm very happy with the, with, with the victory. Um, the slow start, it worried me on a more of a large scale than a small scale. Um, not particularly this game per se, but why do we not return from the bye ready to play? That, that always worried me. What worries me? Um, the Giants, they are not a good football team yet. I mean, they have potential. But they're not a good football team yet. They have needs at wide receiver. They have needs at offensive line. They have needs all over their defense. And like I said, I don't think Shermer is. Uh, I think Shermer is a pretty bad coach. I was like, say I don't think he's a good coach. I, don't, I think he's a pretty bad coach. But overall, I think they're going to get rid of him sooner or later. Overall, I was happy with the win. But make no mistake, we must be much, much better next week to be the Viking team, team that knows they missed the opportunity. They should have really beaten the Chiefs. You know, and they, if they had beat the Chiefs, they would be tied with the Packers, and they know that. So they'll come in, you know, just as hungry as we are, if not hungrier. Um, as far as the players, Dak wasn't himself, in my opinion, for most of the game. I mean, in, in the in the live stream, we were making jokes about him sweating on the second freaking drive of the play in 50 degree weather. He just just sweat just pouring down down him. But I'm I'm sure it had something to do with the dental dental surgery that he got during the bye week. Um, I have no idea why he did that during the bye week. I mean, I had major surgery in the off season just because I couldn't knew I couldn't make videos on those on those type medicines. You know what I'm saying? Because when you get stuff done to your teeth, wisdom teeth pull and stuff like that, it hurts. You know what I'm saying? There's some there's some serious nerves up in there. In there. You need you need drugs. You know, and I you know I I can't do them for long. But the 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 short time period where I do have to take the drugs or whatever, I'm loopy. You know, I'm just I'm just I'm just weird. And not only that, you know, your thinking is different on those drugs or whatever. But not only that, your diet is different. You can't eat solid foods. You have to you have to eat. And, and we have to basically drink your meals and things of that sort. So uh, a, a lot of that, I felt like a lot of, I felt like Dak was dealing with a lot internally, you know, that, that we didn't know about or whatnot. So um, he gutted it out. He fought it out. He played pretty well after, after that first unbelievable <laughs> interception. He settled down and he gutted it out to victory. All three touchdowns were good plays by him through. Three. All three touchdowns were good plays by him. Um, the first one should have probably been a sack. I mean, he, he, he rolled to the right and hit, hit Jarwin, and Jarwin finished that play um, in a way Witten hadn't in a long time. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, but um, so much happened on the Gallup one, though. Um, on the Gallup touchdown, uh, Collins was just standing there for some reason. Zeke was just standing there for some reason. It's, at least Zeke was available for a catch. I don't know what Collins was doing, but they both looked kind of confused, like they they were in the wrong play or whatever. So then two guys were coming. Also, two guys were coming at Dak, and, and when he threw a super accurate pass out, the number, I can't know, know who it was, 27, but it went right over the outstretched arms of 27, right and led Gallup right into the end zone and an incredible finish by Gallup. 
Then the last one was just, it was a beautiful play from, I mean, it was a, it was a, it was a dig by computer, uh, computer. It was a dig by Cooper and, um, it was a great pocket by the O-line. It was great pass by Dak and great speed and close by, by Cooper. It was just a just awesome execution from top to bottom, just period. So th- he, he, there was a lot to be happy from in that game. Uh, Zeke, <laughs> Zeke, 139 yards at six yards a pop. Now, that's just great. I'm, I love those numbers, man. And he... He's he's back to himself in the second half of the season. So th- that that gives me a lot of confidence going into these big games because he's the guy now at six yards a pop. You can lean on that. We chose not to lean on that. We chose to just hold him at, at 137 yards or whatever. But when you're getting six yards a pop, man, you can lean on that. Really, you can. You can you ride him to victory. I said Zeke. After that game, I said Zeke is the best running back in the league. And you know what? Some people, not if not people, Cowboy fans were coming back at me saying it was Christian McCaffrey and saying Christian McCaffrey is the best quarter, running back in the league. And as much as I love and respect Christian McCaffrey, I, I do. I love watching him play. I loved him from college. No way in H-E double hockey sticks is he better than Zeke. Yes, he's having a better season. He's having a better season, but no way that you can, you can make him the best running back in the NFL just because he's having a better season. How about this? Would you, would you say Lamar Jackson is a better quarterback than Aaron Rodgers just because he's having a better season than Aaron Rodgers? There's no way. There's no way. Rodgers has a history. And Zeke has a history. These other guys, they're playing extremely well right now. So let, let them earn being the best running back in the uh, best quarterback in in the league before we just start giving it to somebody. All right. (laughs) Shoot. Best in NFL, please. No, but on a side note, do you guys remember that I wanted McCaffrey so bad in the draft? I was dreaming of that one, two punch of, of McCaffrey and and Z with McCaffrey being our third down back. Also, he was going to be a slot receiver. I would say he could take over if you could let, let Beasley go, and McCaffrey would be that, that, that slot receiver, and he would also be an, an extremely dangerous returner, an extreme, a, a returner that could take it to the house. That would have been nasty. I mean, I can't coach football. I, I never can't claim to be able to coach football. That's Law Nation and all those other guys. They know, they know the X and O's is much better than me, but I could be one heck of a GM. When I... When I buy the Cowboys from Jerry, I'm going to be your next narcissistic GM. <laughs> I'm sorry. Sorry it's going to happen. If I buy him, it's going to happen. Um, on defense, uh, uh, Tank, he backed up his talk again. You know, I, I still don't like the talk, but I love the play. Uh, Michael Bennett was good. Um, exactly what I thought he would be on the field. He, he was a definite plus on the field. Still don't trust him totally off the field. That's just me. I'm sorry. I got to be honest with myself. Um, things are great after victories. But, you know, when we face a, a adversity, is, he's, is he going to be like, mm, and move forward like the Cowboys do? Or will he, will he cause some um, problems in our locker room? Sean Lee is still my boy. I don't understand the Sean Lee hate. A healthy Sean Lee is daggum near perfect. He had a great game along with Xavier Woods, who also my boy. He was my pet cat when he first got here in training camp, and I've loved him ever since. So, I, you know, with the defense, I am very happy. I'm happy with the game in the most part. But like I said, we better be better next week. We better be better next week. Tomorrow, it's all about the Vikings. Have a great day, everyone. All right, peace.